This question says, there are 1,200 students at Tropical High School. The ratio of boys to girls is 3 to 5. Part A. How many girls are in the school? Let's read the question again to see what information they give us. It says, there are 1,200 students at Tropical High School. The ratio of boys to girls is 3 to 5. And for part A, they would like us to find how many girls are in the school. Now you might be wondering how are we supposed to find out how many girls if they didn't tell us how many girls. Well if we look at this problem, we can see it is a ratio problem. The way we know it's a ratio problem is because it tells us it's a ratio problem. This word right here is all we needed to see in order to know how to solve this problem. Now we should remember that a ratio is used to compare two or more things. In this situation, we're comparing boys to girls. And they tell us the ratio is going to be 3 to 5. So this is very important. In this problem, the ratio is going to be boys to girls, right? And we know the ratio of boys to girls is going to be 3 to 5. So we're going to write 3 to 5. Now, it's not going to be 5 to 3. Because boys came first, we know the first part of the ratio, which is 3, is going to represent boys. And because girls came second, we know the second part of the ratio is going to represent girls. So we couldn't write this ratio as 5 for boys and 3 for girls. Because boys came first, we had to use the first part. So just always remember that. Now because we're comparing boys to girls, let's find the total number of parts that is in this problem. So if we look at this, we can say total. We know there are 3 parts for the boys and 5 parts for the girls. So we can just add these two. And we're going to get 8 parts. So the total number of parts is going to be 8. Now that we have the total number of parts, we must find out how many students is going to represent one part. In order to do this, we're going to need the total number of students that are at the high school. So let's read this question one more time. So it says, there are 1,200 students at Tropical High School. The ratio of boys to girls is 3 to 5. So they tell us there are 1,200 students at Tropical High School. And we know students are going to be made up of boys and girls. Therefore, we have the total number of students at the high school. Now, once we have this number, all we're going to do is divide it by the total number of parts and solve for one part. Therefore, we're going to write this as total number of students. I'm going to write total students over total parts. Now we know the total number of students is going to be 1,200 divided by the total parts, and in this situation, we know the total parts is going to be 8. Now we're going to have to simplify this. We can just use long division to simplify this. We can set the problem up to look like this. We have 1,200 divided by 8. We know 8 cannot go into 1, but 8 can go into 12 one time. 8 times 1 is 8. Now when we subtract this, 12 minus 8 is going to give us 4. We're going to bring down 0. Now we have 8 can go into 40 5 times. 8 times 5 is 40. When we subtract this, 0 minus 0 is 0, 4 minus 4 is 0, but we have to bring down this last 0. 8 can go into 0 
zero times. Eight times zero is zero. When we subtract this, we end up with zero. Therefore, our answer is now complete for the division part of it. Therefore, we can say 1,200 divided by 8 can be simplified into 150. Therefore, for one part, we're going to have 150 students. Now, this isn't our answer just yet, but this is important to note. So, one part equals 150 students. Now, the question says, how many girls are in the school? Now, to find this, we know how many parts represent girls. We know five parts represent girls, and we know one part is going to equal 150 students. So, all we're going to do is multiply five parts by 150 students. So, let's do this. So, we know we're going to say five multiply by 150. When we set this problem up, we can set it up to look like this. We can say 150 multiplied by 5. We always put the bigger number on top. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 5 is 25. We're going to put the 5. And we're going to carry the 2. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7. Therefore, the total number of girls at this school is going to be 750 girls. This is our answer. And don't forget to write it in the space provided. So our answer is going to be 750. If you didn't use this method, that's okay. If you use this method, I'm going to write it in black. If you used 5 over 8 multiplied by 1,200, and when you simplified it, you still got 750, that answer is still correct. Now, there is more than one method you can use to solve this problem. The method I did is I just solved for one part and multiply it by the number of parts that represented girls. Now, for part B, it says nine more boys entered the school. If the ratio remains the same, how many girls entered? Well, let's read it one more time. It says nine more boys entered the school. If the ratio remains the same, how many girls entered? Well, we know the ratio is going to be the same. So let's set this problem up. This is going to be a proportion problem. Now remember, the ratio is boys to girls, right? So we have boys to girls. And we know the ratio is going to be 3 to 5. So we have 3 to 5. Now it says, 9 more boys entered the school. If the ratio remains the same, how many girls entered? So let's set this proportion up. They tell us nine more boys entered the school. I'm going to write nine under the boys section. And they want us to find out how many girls entered. But they don't tell us the number of girls. We're just going to use a variable to represent this. I'm going to use the variable G. Now, once we have this information, let's set up the proportion exactly the way it needs to be set up. We're going to write 3 over 9 equals 5 over G. Now, we're just going to cross multiply and find for G. So, that's all we're doing at this point. Now, when we start to cross multiply this, we know 3 is going to be multiplied by g equals 5 multiplied by 9. 3 times g is going to give us 3g equals 5 times 9 is going to give us 45. 
Now we're going to have to get g by itself. So all we're going to do now is divide both sides by 3. We know this 3 is going to cancel out with this 3. And when we divide 45 divided by 3, g is going to give us 15. And we know g represents girls. Therefore, therefore the total number of girls that entered the school when nine more boys entered is going to be 15.